Hello sheeple, Bad Influencer here. It's the 20th of November, 2020. A horrible day. Uh, winter's uh, definitely bedded itself in for the long haul. So, very cold out there, um, very dark, um, very wintry. So, it's pretty much what you'd expect from a, uh, a winter seasonal day. Uh, but I'm blabbing. I've been away for a while. I've been, I've been, a, been in a but, bit of a funk. Um, a bit demotivated. I don't know why. Um, this is the time of year I, I generally enjoy. I do love, like the dark nights and the uh, the chilly, chilly evenings. Um, relaxing in front of the telly. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. It could be this, this seasonal seasonal adjustment disorder i don't know what it is i don't think it's that so um but yes yeah, so i thought i'd uh, ease my way back into things um uh, by doing you a uh, quick uh, sandwich video so today i'm gonna do the chicken club sandwich so now i'm not a huge fan of club sandwiches it's, it's an extra slice of bread pushes the calories up uh, a little bit more um and club stands for chicken and lettuce under bacon so it's, it's got ingredients that uh, that you want because uh, i mean i do like my blt which is you know bacon lettuce and tomato um we won't get into the confusion of that, that caused me with the the blm movement um but yeah so um they uh, created the chicken club and uh, so Chicken and lettuce under bacon. It's a it's a four letter acronym. Uh, so so it, it's sort of saying that it's it's one step up from the BLT. Uh, but I do believe the chicken club has got tomatoes in. But I guess they just couldn't find a space for the uh, for the tea. It'd be uh, be be cult be cult cult um club club to clubbutter sandwich i mean it's, it's, it doesn't roll off the tongue does it so so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to open it up uh, plate it up and um, we'll have a look shall we so i'll see you in a second right welcome back i've uh, i've got it on a plate now um just to point out the packaging is recyclable and uh, i do i do like to fold it up into a into a little uh, sailboat um or a hat be a hat I'm middle-aged um so yeah uh, let's take a look at it you know see you've got uh, the extra slice of bread in there uh, I'm assuming that that's to hold the bacon away from everything um, but if you look I'll try and tilt it forward for you that I mean, that's uh, I mean, it's a solid sandwich. That is, I mean, it's definitely uh, you're not going to need anything else um, um, for your lunch if if you if you have one of these. So so yes, I'm going to take one now. And they've always got these grill, grill marks as if it's been toasted. No, it should be. I guess it. I guess if you're buying it from a from a cafe or something, it might come toasted. So. Um, but yes, there's definitely three slices of bread. Uh, let me just uh, oh, that's weird. So I, yeah, I, I've never really opened one up before. Um, but the layer of bread seems to have uh, the tomatoes on it. So maybe. Um, And definitely the the the, the 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 bacon and the lettuce oh I don't know I don't know maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll dissect the, um, the the second sandwich and give you a bit more information because right now I'm just going to dive in
Yeah, that's good. That's a good sandwich. Um, it's um, it's a good yeah, it's a good sandwich. I'm getting uh, I'm getting a bit of uh, cheese. Uh, would you put cheese? Is cheese a part of a um, normal club sandwich? I don't know. Because the thing is, with the BLT, you know what you're getting. You're getting bacon, lettuce, tomato, and you, you, there's no cheese or anything there. But it seems to me like there's, there is a, a layer of cheese in here. Either that or it's well past its uh, uh, sell by date, but it isn't. It's uh, especially oh, I've got till tomorrow. Hmm. Now, as you know, though, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not afraid of a of a bargain sandwich. Uh, the the yellow sticker of uh, joy that that you often see. Yeah, it's a good sandwich. Um, there is a bit of variance in the textures, um, like the, the the chicken and the bacon uh, is is chewy, but yet yeah, essentially, because the bread isn't toasted, oh, toasted up. So yeah, yeah, it's 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 your overall sandwich mush type situation. Uh, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's going down all right. Uh, the world is almost at its end, isn't it? The um, at the moment, I mean, but he, um, Trump still hasn't conceded. Um, keep sending Rudy Giuliani uh, out to speak for him and that's not doing him any good because uh, I saw him on uh, a show last night and uh, he was melting there was all kind of stuff running down the sides of his face so I think he's, uh, that, um, he probably puts that just for men in his hair um, And yeah, he didn't. Uh, he didn't look attractive. So uh, I hope he wasn't going out on the pool afterwards. Uh, <clears throat> but yes, they're refusing to concede. Um, I don't know what to think really. Um, I'm sure there was um, voter fraud. Um, I, don't, I don't think um, you can catch everything. But what you know was it to the extent um, that each did it change the result? I'm not. I'm not so sure. You know. I mean, I, I, I like Trump. Um, I don't think Biden is going to be a great president um, if if he lasts that long, anyway. So I think, like I said before, you're going to end up with Kamala Harris. Um, mm. It is, it's a good, yeah, it's, a, it's a good sandwich, it grows on you. Not like fungus, but, you know, the, the taste. And with the extra slice of bread, you know that you're definitely eat, eating a sandwich. So, not like some, some fiddly thin, thin things. So that's the first one down. Now I'm going to have a quick look to see if I can... Uh, Right now, okay. So there's definitely cheese and tomato in the in the extra bit of the layer of the sandwich, which doesn't really uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't fulfil the acronym really, which is chicken and lettuce under bacon. I mean that's essentially the the, the top half of the sandwich. So that's your cheese and tomato bit. And then underneath that is your, is your 
is your chicken and lettuce and bacon. So, I just, yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, like I say, they're stuck with a, with four letters. They're, they're never going to make um, blocked, blocked. I'll have a chicken blocked, please. Um, that that would probably be the best best one. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to crack on now, get the uh, second one out of the way. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're still in lockdown. Um, got through the 2nd of November, 2nd of December. Um, and then they're saying if, if we want to have a, um, a normal Christmas, But every day that we have Christmas, we have to have a full lockdown of five days. So, I don't know, it doesn't bother me. Um, I don't do a lot at Christmas. Uh, th there are people that do. Um, I call them mentalists. Uh, you know, wherever they're living, you know, be it uh, whatever country they're in. Or area of the UK, um, possibly a, an island or anywhere. They're, they're just mental. So, I mean, some people do really go over the top, and I'm talking really over the top, thousands and thousands of lights. So, I mean, you know, Greta Thunberg, she wouldn't be happy. She wouldn't be happy about uh, about some of some of these uh, decorations. So, but then she's never happy about anything, is she? So, um, the miserable cock. Uh. Oh, I lost a bit there. Now, it's good that uh, I've plated it up because I've uh, still got a bit of bacon left. I'm going to pop that on top of the sandwich till after. Um. Mm. It's turning into a decent eat. So yeah, wasn't wasn't fully expecting it. Um but it is, so have a little bit of bacon on its own there. And yeah, Sainsbury's uh, has sent everyone in uproar because they've done uh, diverse uh, commercials so, so um, everyone who's got their arse in their hands over that um just do one i mean uh, really you know you've got to complain that there's no white people in in an advert i mean for god's sake it's 2020 so if you've seen the advert uh if you're in the uk it's not a bad advert, you know. I mean, I I think it was playing in the background once, and uh, it's called Gravy Boat. So if you do Sainsbury's Gravy Boat uh, into uh, YouTube, you'll be able to see the uh, the uh, the advert that has caused so much offence um, with Daily Mail readers. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's just about a daddy joking about uh, going, um, you know. He used to do his gravy, and it'd be coming in a, in a gravy boat, gravy boat. Well, I mean, it's fun. It's fun. It's nice. It's Christmas. Uh, to be honest, I was um, uh, my ears pricked up when the, when they said about the, the the crunchy roast potatoes. So, so for that alone, you know, I'm I'm, I'm giving them a pass. Uh, so if you're whinging about it, if you think it's not right then you're not right so think about that for a second before you mount your uh, pick up your internet pitchfork and go after people and anyway the oldest christmas advert it's got a bleeding carrot in 
So, you know, if you're on about, you know, oh, there's no white people in uh, in this uh, this advert. Yeah, there's no, there's, uh, there's no, it's just carrots. It's a carrot family. Is that, you know, is, is that being uh, discriminating against ginger people? Uh, bloody hell, the, the, world, the world's got their arse in their hands over everything, haven't they? You can't do anything without some bloody action group uh, forming against you. And believe me, I know. Pretty, uh... I shaved this woman's dog, basically. It was annoying me. So, um, so I snuck around one night because because they, they used to keep it in a in a kennel in the back. It, it was summer, um, but yeah, I mean, big fancy. Um, what's the what's the cross between a, a poodle and a, oh god, what are they? Noodles, but whatever it was. Right, I grabbed this and uh, I bloody shaved it. Uh, and uh, talk about events, bloody hell. They were all over Facebook and you know, who, who's done this, who's done this. So, I mean, I, I, I made up a fake account um, and said, I did it. I said, come, come and get me. Uh, so they weren't happy. Hey, almost uh, ruined uh, Stephen Mulhern's career. That's it. <laughs> uh, but I've not, I've not shaved uh, any animal since. So d dog or otherwise. So. Which just goes to show you, things can get out of hand very easily. Um, so watch what you're saying. Just be mindful of each other. You know, it's a bloody advert, and it's Christmas. So as long as they're smiling and they're and they're having a roast dinner, it's fine by me. So, so yeah, any anyone whinging about that? Um, look at look at yourselves for just one second. How sad are you? Right. So that's the last one now. I'm considering a score. I am going for the Tesco Chicken Club Sandwich, uh, Chicken and Lettuce Under Bacon. He's going to get He's going to get a 6. So it's 5 and a 1 there. So 5, 1. Five and a one, and the reason it gets a six is because uh, it's it's on the lower side. Um, it's an average sandwich. Um, it's um, it gets the uh, so I mean really you could just say five, but it gets an extra point because it's it's a it's a bulkier sandwich. It's a bigger eat. Um, you, you're gonna you're gonna uh, want less food later on, um, but really. There, there are better sandwiches out there, so uh, and better acronyms. You know, BLM is one. Uh, I mean, BLT. Done it again, you know. Uh, um. So yeah. So it's not bad. Would I buy it again? I mean, I would. Yeah. I, if if I, if I needed something substantial, substantial, then yes, I would buy it again. So. Um, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. If there was other sandwiches on the shelf and I was just having some up for lunch, then uh, there's definitely uh, a whole whole rack of other sandwiches I'd go to first. So so not, not bad, but not great. Um, and then that's your Tesco Chicken Club. So 
So yes, I hope you're keeping uh, well, taking care of each other and uh, staying mindful. Uh, and stop getting your ass and your hands over absolutely everything. I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, there's, uh, <clears throat> there's far worse things on the way, I'm sure, uh, than uh, bloody Christmas adverts. Um, uh, so yes, so this is a uh, bad influencer uh, signing off. Hey, take care of yourself, and I will see you next time. See you later.